You're watching Fox 5 News at 5. So there is confusion tonight about the whereabouts of former NBA star Lamar Odom. These days, he's probably better known, though, for being the husband of that lady right there, uh, reality TV star Khloe Kardashian. He reportedly vanished for days after she threw him out of the house because of an alleged drug problem. And now, apparently, we're learning that Khloe knows, though, exactly where he is. He was missing for a little bit. They couldn't establish contact with him. Um, we are told that he is staying in L.A. Um, it's just it, it's unclear exactly where he is. But Chloe has made contact with him. They did have a, a little meeting. Um, she was able to establish contact, check on him to make sure he was OK. Well, TMZ also says that the two have separated. All right, let's get more on this. Joining us right now is Chloe Malas, a senior entertainment reporter for HollywoodLife.com. Thanks for being here. Thanks a lot for of, having me. A lot of mystery surrounding all of this now. Okay, does this Chloe, his wife, know where he is, what he's doing? Yes, she does. Let me clear up a couple things okay. right now. Chloe Kardashian and Lamar Odom have not legally separated. So there are no legal documents that say, as of right now, that have been filed that say these two are legally separated and they're actually headed towards divorce. Hollywood Life com can actually report that these two are actually trying to work on their marriage at least Chloe is trying to save it right now now TMZ was the first to break the story that said that Chloe gave Lamar an ultimatum and there was this intervention that was attempted to be had last Wednesday and when he refused he left but he was never missing and I can absolutely confirm that to you from people that I've spoken to that he wasn't you know gone and no one knew where he was. Chloe all the time knew where he was and there's a report again on TMZ today that claims that she has gone to race to be by his side. Uh, you know, there are a lot of allegations out there right now that yes. they have had a rocky relationship. There is alleged drug use, okay? Is there any truth to um, that? Alleged. I am not confirming anything. HollywoodLife.com is not confirming anything about that. Um, but there are reports out there. But here is something interesting to point out. Lamar Odom has not come out and released a statement about any of this. His agent, Jeff Schwartz, released a statement to ESPN today saying that my client intends to play basketball again. Mm. What we can confirm at HollywoodLife.com is that everything that has been happening is definitely damaging his chances of being re-signed by the L.A. Clippers. So... That's what we do know. So Chloe is definitely someone that believes in family and wants this marriage to work. Mm -hmm. And their four-year wedding anniversary is right around the corner. Yeah. So sad time. It's very sad. And, uh, you know, everybody loves Chloe oh. and we want her to be happy. We have to wish them the best. They yeah. seem like a good couple. Okay, let's talk about something else that was wild. <laughs> Fun the last VMA night. last night. Great show. Uh, video Music Awards. Yeah. Um, Miley Cyrus did a very good <laughs> job as being the only thing that anybody's talking about the day after. Yeah. She performed Rob Robin Thicke, mm -hmm. who has, who had the song of the summer, Great right? Song. But yet only um, everybody's talking about her. She was a little out there, I'm, a little bit more than a little I out wonder there. if he's upset that she is now, has now overshadowed him, you know, in his performance with his song of the summer. Look, he's uh, a nice guy though, isn't he? I mean, he's nice kind of, guy. He's, Actually, he's, song yeah. performed Friday night at Terminal Five, oh, and oh. I can definitely tell you that the performance is definitely uh, much more fun to watch with Miley on stage being all extreme. Look, she was twerking, she was ha ripping her clothes off, she. Was she very had that provocative. Giant finger in she her was hand touching that she was doing him in wild. some places oh, yeah, yeah. that oh, yeah. were definitely suggestive, and I'm sure the parents who had children at home watching this were not very happy with it. But look, Miley Cyrus did exactly what she intended to do. We're all talking about her today, she's and all over um, YouTube. she knew exactly all over Twitter. what she was doing. And this is her distancing herself from her yep. Hannah Montana yep. image, guys. I know like, it was a great show last night, and I have to tell you, Lady Gaga looked pretty good too. I mean, she, she did. performed very well, recovering from that hip surgery, yeah, going up there really in just a bra and panties, that bathing suit mermaid Changing ass. costume every 30 seconds showing, or so, right? Look, my hip is fine. I'm right. doing great. There's so. shots of Miley, though. You know, um, I feel like she did a good job of getting rid of her old Hannah Montana image, but yet a lot of people think that she's gone a little bit too far. Right. A lot of people are wondering, can she sustain this image? Like, what is next for Miley Cyrus? Her mother, though, uh, came out today and gave a statement to an outlet saying that she's actually really proud of Miley's performance. So, wow. uh, you know, but then again, on Twitter, there's a hashtag saying, mm -hmm. uh, like, pray for Billy right now. Yeah, right. Okay, her father, Billy Ray <laughs> Cyrus. Look, it's a very extreme yeah. performance. It's very provocative, very sexual. I, ha I, at times, did cover my face a little bit well, while you know watching. What was interesting?
interesting, Chloe, is that they had a reaction from a lot of celebrities. Will Smith and his family. Who were also were covering shots, their faces out shocked. in the yeah. audience. And they're teenagers. Yeah. You know, you'd think that they would be able to deal with that a little bit more. They're used to seeing all that crazy yeah. stuff. She's definitely got people talking, but then again, just something to point out, Britney Spears was 21 years old when she kissed Madonna at the VMAs. So it seems yeah, as though this was, is like yeah. a coming of age, you know, when you're 20, 21, do something crazy at the yeah. VMAs. I know. That's the other thing that was really nice, real quick, the Barclays Center was fantastic. Oh, yes. It was great that it was great. all coming yeah. from our Wonderful. Backyard. Yes, yeah. Brooklyn. It's a place to be. All right, Brooklyn Chloe in the house. We like it. Thank you, Chloe. Thanks Thank for joining you. us. Thank okay, you. and we have more to too at, at the VMAs as we were talking about. <laughs>